What's up guys, this is Tucker Jobs, welcome back to Tactics Tested and here we are today checking out a tactic by Mr. Green that can be found on the FM Arena website. So here we are, it is a narrow diamond guys, it's called the Calcite 6, you can download it using the link in the description, I will be chucking it on my Discord as well just in case you're a member there and you can uh, download it, but uh, I've uh, actually done a few Mr. Green tactics before in the past, I wanted to do another one and this is the one we've found uh, and I think it's a tweak, I've got a feeling it's a tweak, pretty sure I've read that somewhere from a Zaz tactic, maybe. Comment if it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the tactic. Shadow Strike is advanced forwards, attacking Mazalas. It's a very attacking tactic. Mentality is very attacking. If you are, I don't know, an elite team, it could probably suit you down to the ground. Could you handle it for the whole season? Probably not. In, in realistic terms, you can't play 50 odd games. Very attacking mentality with all your players attacking and everything like that. But it's a tactics test, so we can't change anything. Um, the team's taking part in this test, guys. Man U, Leeds, PSG, RC, Lens, Stuttgart, Sheffield United, Crew, and Oldham. All right, so as usual, top teams, middle teams, low teams, lower league teams, elite teams. All right. Um, if you can't download, guys, I will go through the instructions. If you can, the link is in the description. Uh, but advance forward left. Advance forward right. Shadow Striker. Mazala left, Mazala right, Roman playmaker, inverted wing back left, inverted wing back right, ball playing defender left, ball playing defender right, and the sweeper keeper set piece guys, corners, defending right and left, and attacking left and right, three kicks, defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and then throw ins, defending right, left, and attacking left. And right, so back to the tactic, guys. So obviously the mentality is very attacking. In possession, attacking width is wide. Play out defense, uh, slightly more direct on the passing directness with a high tempo. Uh, low cross, extremely high tempo, sorry. Low crosses in the final third and work wall into box. In transition, counter press and counter and you're rolling out for the goalkeeper distribution. Out of possession, you are using the offside track with a much higher line of engagement, much higher defensive line. So not, not only are you very attacking, Everything is pushed right up. This is attacking elite tactic, isn't it? It's got to be. Uh, much more often on the trigger press and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. So there's the tactic. There's the instructions. You've got the teams. You know where to download it from. All right. So let's do the test and, uh, yeah, let's see what it looks like. Right then guys, welcome back, end of the season with Manchester United and Leeds first in the Premier League with the Calcite 6 tactic and it's looking pretty decent. It's such a shame that Man U didn't win the league. There were two points off uh, Liverpool and they would have won because the goal difference is massive. But Leeds, guys, they also qualified for the Champions League. They did absolutely incredible. Both teams did, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, goal stat, uh, player stats, and then goals. All right, so Ronaldo got 29. It's a shame uh, Lukaku had a brilliant season. Uh, Fernandez came third. All right, with 26 goals. Average ratings: Fernandez got 7.92 assists. Fernandez got 21. Player of the matches: Fernandez got nine, came second, and clean sheets: David De Gea coming third with 13. So Fernandez did incredible. By the way, he played as the shadow striker and. And Mazzala on the attack duty. Um, he rotated between the two. He did absolutely fantastic in both cases. And he scored and assisted a ton. So, yeah, if you've got a player on the caliber of Fernandez, I think he's going to really, really enjoy this tactic, guys. So, uh, yeah, overall, bob on. All right, so Manchester United's competitions. What did they win? The Carabao Cup. All right, they got to the final, uh, beat Chelsea 2-1. So, nice one there for uh, Manu. At least they got some silverware because they didn't win the league. Uh, if we go to the squad, all right, best player was Fernandez. 36 goals and 35 assists overall in all competitions. Not bad. Uh, biggest goal scorer is Ronaldo, obviously, getting 44, 12 assists. Uh, Fernandez came second. Greenwood got 35 goals as well. Biggest creator in the team after Fernandez, you got Pogba getting 18, Aaron Wambasaka getting 17. Uh, and then 15, 13, and so on and so forth. Full numbers for the team, guys, is 198 goals. Nice one. Uh, but, but, do you know when I said that? You could probably concede a lot because you are so attacking, so forward. 
you conceded 95. <laughs> this is one of those tactics where it's outscore your opponents. If they bang in eight goals against you, you're scoring nine. If they score seven, you're scoring eight. That's, I think, yeah. 95 goals against Manchester United. That is proper glass cannon tactic. Uh, data hub then. Overall on the general performance, it's not bad. It's very attacking as you would expect. Goals, shots and expected. Pass completion is very low, guys, because you are playing attacking football. You're playing fast football. You're going to mess up those passes. You're going to always lose the ball because you're going direct. All right, You're trying to get forward as much as possible. Um, if we look on the last match passes... So let's have a look at the match report against Wolves. Uh, last match passes just the once. It's a little bit all over the place just here. It's very narrow. I know you've got the uh, the left and right backs there who are inverted and play wide. If you've ever had inverted wing backs before, you know they don't just come in. They also go wide as well. Um, but it's very... I like them looking a little bit neater. In my opinion, when two players are so close to each other like that, it means that I think you've got a wasted position, if you know what I mean. Um, but overall, we'll look at the other teams to see if that changes. All right, so, uh, yeah, not too bad overall for Manchester United. All right, if we go to Leeds then, all right, they did fantastic. Fourth place for Leeds Champions League football competitions, and they won the FA Cup. <laughs> nice, who did they beat in the final? Liverpool 2-1. What a result for Leeds. Also got some silverware. Uh, squad then, best player was Rodrigo. 27 goals, 16 assists. Played 7.4. Biggest goal scorers after Rodrigo was Bamford. 25 goals, guys. Biggest creators, uh, Rodrigo and Bamford again. So, yeah, they played uh, really well. Obviously, it's the strikers all pretty much pairing up against each other into supplying each other along with the shadow striker as well. Uh, analyst report, full numbers for Leeds, guys, is 119 goals. That's excellent. Also conceded quite a lot, 72. Not as much as Man U, but it's still quite a lot, uh, 72 goals. Is. So if we go to the data hub then, the Leeds, how did they do? Normally on the general performance, like Man U, they've got a lot of goals, a lot of shots, but very poor on the pass completion. Uh, last match passes, that's a lot more like it all right that's more neat it could have just been the one game for manchester united that's why it looks messy obviously you can only base on one game because you can only see one game uh but leeds versus tottenham that is lovely all right you can see the roman playmaker holding that midfield you can see the two attacking mazalas left and right the two uh strikers bamford and rodrigo there you can see where players should be and what they are doing and it's nice all right that's what you want to see so overall, yeah, pretty decent for Leeds, all right? PSG and RC Lens are next, all right? Over to France, and PSG come first, obviously. Uh, RC Lens didn't do too bad, though, coming fifth uh, right there, qualifying for European football. Uh, top player stats, Messi getting 39 goals, and Mbappe getting 37 goals in the league. Average ratings, uh, Mbappe and Messi again, and oh, Mbappe, 8.29. 8.29 Mbappe, you beautiful man. Uh, Klaus getting 7.73 for RC, RC Lens as well. Assists, Messi, Neymar and Klaus. Player of the matches, Messi, Klaus and Mbappe as well. But no goalkeeper in the clean sheet. So that tells me again, you're conceding quite a lot for this kind of tactic, but you would do. It's super attacking, super forward. You're going to get caught on the break. Come on, you've got to be, aren't you? Um, but PSG's competitions, how did they do? Uh, they won the French Cup, won the Trophy Stage Champions, won the league. So this still ended up with the treble, guys. If we go straight to the squad, best player was... Um, uh, no, we don't count Kurzawa because he's only playing once. So Mbappe, 8.18 in all competitions. Bad. 53 goals, 17 assists. Messi after him, 52-24. Biggest goal scorers after them pair. you got got Icardi getting 32. Neymar getting 31. Ramos getting 13. The centre-back, big lad up there. Uh, biggest creators, Neymar, Hakimi, Messi, Mbappe, Wijnaldum. All right, excellent. I'll tell you what, it's, um, it's PSG. It's PSG. They're always going to bang in the goals. But again, you might want to adapt this tactic when you're 10 years into your game. You might have the best players in the world and you might pretty much be like PSG. So you do want an indication of how it can do with elite teams. All right, so overall numbers, guys. Stats, 241 goals. Oh, oh what? What? 
I've had that many before. Is that the most I've had? <laughs> Is it? I don't know. I can't remember. I know I had another one that was massive on goals. But I don't know if it beat 241. It might have been like 238 or something. 241. All right, um, 68 conceded, guys. So, yeah, <laughs> RC Lens. Yeah, we're not going to beat the 241, are they? RC Lens did really well. Competition semi final of the French Cup. Go straight to the squad. Best player was Klaus, uh, three goals, 20 assists. Biggest goal scorers, Kakuta and Kalimwendo, uh, 26 goals, 22 assists. Biggest creators was Klaus and Hadara, uh, 20 and 13 right there. So, yeah, they've done really well. Nowhere on the same numbers as PSG. Like, uh, full numbers for these guys is 109 and 70 conceded. Uh, data Hub, last match passes. Lovely once again. I like the shape. It's a little bit more deep. It would be because you're an underdog. But uh, overall, absolutely incredible, guys. 241. <laughs> oh, wow. So go to Germany then. Stuttgart came third. Again, fantastic. Stuttgart are an underdog team. They've got Champions League football. Let's go to the lower league of England. Sheffield United. Come first, guys. Let's go down another league. Crew are massive underdogs. Came third, missed out in playoffs, but still a fantastic result. And then again, Oldham. They are predicted pretty much bottom of the table. How did they do? They went through on playoffs. So, yeah. Overall, guys, this tactic was absolutely insane you would it was it was incredible for a narrow attacking tactic it's actually worked really really well if you are the most dominant team in your league and you want to bang in those goals you've seen it with psg guys 241 goals were scored with them using this tactic so hopefully it does work for you all right no promises no guarantees it's uh it can vary guys you know what the uh match engines like sometimes it can be cruel a cruel cruel woman but, uh, yeah, overall, absolutely incredible. All right, well done, Mr. Green. Nice tactic. You know where to download it, guys. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. I'm Tucker Jobs. Make sure to subscribe, all right, to help the channel, channel grow. And uh, I'll see you in the future. See you later. Bye.